Marmarino Palladino is a low sheen lime based medium grain marble plaster used for creating a variety of stone finishes from old world distressed looks to contemporary smooth finishes. Marmarino Palladino Regato Effect Regular, Crystal Brush, and Sapphire Metallic. You will first need to apply the Mio Dead Quartz Primer. Watch the primer video for proper application. Let the quartz primer dry for a minimum of five hours before adding plaster. Apply the first coat of Marmarino Palladino using a trowel and a stainless steel spatula. Cover the entire surface in a smooth and even fashion while maintaining a wet edge. Work in square yard sections, pulling excess material from one yard to the next. Clean all the extra plaster off with a trowel, creating a thin, even layer. Wait for it to set for 15 to 20 minutes before you apply the sponge. Check for lines. If lines are visible, prepare to smooth them. Rub the surface with a damp sponge in a circular motion to ensure an even coat. Apply your slightly thicker second coat of Marmarina Palladino in a smooth, even fashion. Clean the excess plaster off the trowel between strokes. It's very important to keep the layer consistent, otherwise the texture will be uneven. Smooth the plaster with the trowel. Immediately apply the regato tool. Create even horizontal lines from left to right. Periodically clean the regato tool so you don't have too much plaster. If you do not have enough material, apply more using the trowel. Make sure your lines are straight. Wait for it to set for 15 to 20 minutes. The time will depend on the temperature and climate. You'll know it's right when you feel that it has started to set and you can just smooth the top of the layer. Don't press too hard or you might close the texture. Let it set. After 30 to 40 minutes, when it's approximately 60 to 80% dry, press harder with the trowel to smooth it further. Let the surface dry for a minimum of 12 hours or until it's fully dry before you add any glaze or paint. If the texture isn't smooth enough, you can smooth it with sandpaper between 220 and 280 sandpaper grit. Use a dry clean cloth to clean the dust after the sanding. Apply the Velator glaze tinted to your color preference. On big surfaces, it's recommended to apply a coat of clear Velator glaze first, diluted one part glaze to six part water over the surface before you apply the color finishes. This seals the surface, giving you more time to play with the color pigments. Otherwise, the colors will absorb quickly, locking in your look, immediately making it unchangeable. Velature Glaze is a water-based glaze that's made to penetrate interior and exterior plasters. For an antique look, add colors. Allow at least 12 hours to dry. Bellator is formulated with the highest levels of UV absorbers and inhibitors, shielding the product for years to come, inhibiting it from fading in the sun. Sapphire Metallic is another option over the Regato texture. It's a contemporary metallic look that's unique and sophisticated. Choose a metallic color and apply a very thin layer with a paintbrush. You have a variety of colors to choose from. We are using the white pearl metallic called SM1000. After you apply, take a damp sponge to clean the surface, ensuring that the metallic finish is evenly distributed. If you want to use two coats, please dilute each of them with at least 10% water. If you choose to apply the second coat of sapphire metallic, smooth it with a damp sponge to ensure that it's evenly coated. We've created a unique and elegant look here with the white pearl metallic finish. The sapphire metallic comes in a variety of colors for interior and exterior surfaces. And as you can see, it's easy to apply.
A third option over the Marmarina Palladina Regato effect is Crystal Brush, an elegant look that glistens and catches the eye. Crystal Brush is a stunning finish that shines like a diamond on your wall. Choose any base color you like, but be sure the color of the base matches the Crystal Brush. For example, we have a black Marmarina Palladino base with the Regato effect. Dilute the Crystal Brush with 10 to 15% water and add glitter to your preference. Stir it well. For the base coat, we've chosen CB700 Black. The dark pigment provides a wonderful base for the Crystal Brush to shine on. Once your base color dries, if it needs smoothing, sand it a bit. Apply the Crystal Brush with the paintbrush for an easy application from side to side. To ensure an even coat, smooth the Crystal Brush with a damp sponge while it's still wet. Continue adding the finish with the paintbrush. Smooth the wet surface again with a damp sponge. If you feel like you need a third coat, go ahead, but dilute it even more. Crystal Brush is a stunning finish that shines like a diamond on your wall. For maximum effect, use custom directional lighting. It will wash the shimmering effect onto your wall, creating a magnificent look.